Hey guys, welcome to my investment journey series. This is episode 25. So this week I'm not actually appearing on camera. I'm actually busy traveling at the moment down in Edinburgh, celebrating first wedding anniversary slash my wife's birthday. So I'm not gonna be putting myself on camera. I'm just wanting to stay accountable, get this video out quickly. And that way I'm staying consistent. I don't want to fall off track and stop uploading these videos. So yeah, there won't be me on camera this week. There also won't be Hugo. So to the regular watchers here on this channel, I'm really sorry about that. You're probably glad not to see my face, but maybe you'll be missing my cat Hugo, who has been a regular feature on the channel recently. Anyway, this week, I'm going to open up my Trading212 portfolio here on my iPhone as always, and we'll see how things are looking. Like I say, this is episode 25. Last week, we were £8,027.18. So we were 1.54% up overall in the portfolio. And I don't think it's going to be too great this week. I've not actually been looking much this weekend because, like I say, I'm busy right now in Edinburgh. So let's just get straight into this now. Come out of my YouTube here and we'll go straight over to my Trading212 app. Open that up here on my iPhone and let's just see how things are looking. So we'll head to my portfolio section and straight away we're seeing a red return there so negative return so that's already not good news this hasn't happened for a long time just show how badly things have taken a hit recently in the markets so my ISA utilization is 34 percent and I did actually add some more money this week I think I added more on Friday so I'll get into that and see what's what's changed in the portfolio but the total value of portfolio is £8,128.26 so I've invested £8,157.98 overall and yeah you're seeing that there negative return £29.72 in the red so not good at all and if we now slide this to last week so I'll always compare it to the previous week and we'll just look at this here so Sunday so this time last week we were looking at that return there, £120.98, so we're 1.53% in the green. So we've went from a 1.53% positive to a 0.36% negative. So that's what's changed. That's what the drop has been. You, you're maybe wondering why the, you can see this increase here despite the fact it's dropped. That is purely because I did add more money into my portfolio this week. So like I say, let's just get onto the investments here and we'll see what's changed. Also, I did actually create my first ever pie on Friday with Trading212. So I'll, show, I'll get into that as well near the end of this video and you can see what I've actually been doing there. So looking at investments, quick glance as always. Green, green, red, green, 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 red, 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 green, red, 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 green, green and green. And scroll back up to the top here. So my American Airlines, it is 7.03% down from last week. Sydney World Group, it's 8.95% down from last week. So again, another red negative one there, unfortunately. Hive Group, 13% down from last week. So again, 13%, that's quite significant. I think it was under 10% last time I did an update. So yeah, that's not too great to see. But again, it's something that I'm not too shocked about given the current climate and everything that's going on in the world. Moving on to the FTSE 100, one of my biggest holdings in my portfolio. Looking at the weekly view, it's actually down 3.13% from last week. So again, pretty significant, especially when you consider the money that I've got invested in here into this ETF. So yeah, 345 units. My investment of £1,973.38 is now only giving me a positive return of £12.93. Just shows you the absolute beating that the UK markets have taken this past week especially. Moving on to the S&P 500 ETF, weekly view, 0.27% down from last week. Yeah, my 80 units, which are worth £2,046.37, are now showing that return of £153.36. So a lot better than the UK currently doing. Coming down to the NASDAQ 100 ETF, weekly view again. So this is actually showing green, that's good. 2.57% increase from last week. So that's definitely something positive there, something for me to kind of cling on a bit of hope to there. Moving on to the iShares Physical Gold ETF. So from last week, it's 2.75% down. So another red negative one here in the portfolio. The iShares S&P 500 Healthcare Sector ETF from last week, 3.36% down. Again, more red, more negative. Do not want to cancel that. Coming down to legal and general group, 175 shares. So from last week, we have dropped again by 7.67%. So another 7.67% down with this investment from last week. So the return here is now showing minus £37.27. So 10.68% down overall. 
If you're a regular watcher to this channel, you'll now realise that McDonald's is a new addition to the portfolio. I actually added this on Friday and it's actually part of the pie that I created and I'll get into that after. But this is something that's new, like I say. That's actually shown green right just now, which is good news. Looking at the view from last week, it's actually dropped by 0.94%. But like I say, I only just bought into this on Friday. From that point, it has actually increased. So my investment, as you can see, is currently up by one pound one pence. So 1.04% up with my McDonald's investment at this time. Moving on to MGM Resorts, my five shares from last week were 0.32% up with this investment. So my five shares, like I say, overall it's still a negative return, but weekly view, it's actually in the green by a small amount, but it's still green. National Grid weekly view, 0.57% up from last week. Something else there is it's green, so again, happy with that. Unfortunately, I've just not got a lot of money there, so you're not really noticing a big effect on, on the overall portfolio. Coming down to Royal Dutch Shell, another one of my big holdings from last week. It's a 2.64% drop. Shell's just not been doing great recently. I mean, you can just see, looking at the yearly view especially, the, the dip, and it's just continued to drop and drop and drop. And... I always say I'm not worried because I'm long time hold. That's still true. I'm not worried because, again, I'm thinking five, ten years down the line, at least with this investment. But it would be good to see some green at some point. I know that's probably not going to happen soon. But yeah, I'm just holding on with this one. Weekly view, 2.64% down. But there was some good news with Shell recently. I did get my dividend. I'm sure a lot of you other guys out there who are invested with Shell also received a dividend. So that was something to uh, be thankful for. Starbucks, again, regular watches to the channel. You'll realise this is another new addition to the portfolio. It's also part of the pie. Get into that after a little bit. And from last week, Starbucks is actually down by 0.65%. But I did buy into this on Friday. And since I bought in, it has climbed. So yeah, we're seeing that positive return there from 91 pence. So 1.73% up with that Starbucks investment so far. Here, Under Armour, my two free shares with Under Armour. So looking at the weekly view, they're down by 3.21% from last week. And overall, my two shares are now showing that positive return of £1.49. And then finally, the Vanguard FTSE Emerging Markets ETF weekly view. It's actually down by 4.05% from last week. So again, you can just see that the bulk of my portfolio, which are my ETFs, have taken an absolute beating this week. And that is why I'm actually in the red for the first time in a long time. Yeah, it's it's just everything's getting badly affected here. And because the bulk of my money is in my ETFs, which is something I always say I'm going to be focusing on, that's why we're seeing such a big effect this week. So my 21 units with this ETF are now showing that positive return of £71.40. So overall, this investment is still positive for me. But yeah, looking at the weekly view, that is not great. That is a big drop, especially. But looking at the overall allocation, my 16 investments have now got overall portfolio is £8,120.26. And I did say I'll talk about the pie a little bit here. So let's move over to that just now. So yeah, I created my first pie on Trading212. I simply called it the Busy Pie. You're probably wondering what the hell is that about. Well, Busy Pie, basically, it, it just holds at the moment McDonald's and Starbucks. And I kind of got this idea on, like say, Friday. I was actually going to Starbucks and I just realised it was completely out the door again. It was actually a drive through and it was just absolutely packed, as McDonald's usually is. And I just thought, I'm going to create a pie of companies that I see on a daily basis near enough. Not necessarily that I use on a daily basis, thankfully. If I used a McDonald's or Starbucks on a daily basis, not only would I be extremely broke, but I'd be extremely fat. Looking at this pie here, we can see right now those two investments, McDonald's and Starbucks. It's two places that no matter when I pass them, they always seem to be busy. So that's hence why they're in the busy pie. There will be other things getting added here that I'm watching, but right just now that's the two that I've got. So yeah, more to come on this pie in the near future, probably the next few updates, I might talk a few more on this. But yeah, current value, £151.92, showing that return right now, £1.92. So all I've invested at the moment £150 in this pie. And I did a 64, I did a 65% split with McDonald's, and then I did a 35% split with Starbucks. And you can see it's kind of, the figures have jumped about a little bit there, but that's just because it needs to be rebalanced slightly. But yeah, Happy with that so far, and I am going to be adding more to there, like I say, in the near future. So stay tuned to that on future updates, and I will let you know what is happening with that one. But yeah, it was good to at least get my first pie up and running for just now. So yeah, that's how it's looking this week, guys. In the red, not good. Probably one of the worst weeks since I started investing, to be honest, considering I've got all that money invested in my 
Trading212 account and we're in the red and that is with me being pretty diversified over the UK market, US market, the emerging markets. I've got some gold in there. I've got obviously a technology, the Nasdaq, which is a big focus on the US markets again. So I'm not purely focused on one investment here or one sector. It's It could be more diversified, something I'm working on. But yeah, we're still seeing that negative return there with all that. And it just shows you how badly things have taken a hit lately, like I say. So not too great. But again, long term hold, five, ten years down the line, I'm sure things will be a lot healthier by then. So I've not yet uploaded this video and I've just realised that I've not actually spoke about the dividends I've received this past week. So I'm just going to go into that just now quickly. So I'll go to the history section and then dividends. So the 23rd September, I received my uh, dividend from Royal Dutch Shell. That was £9.43. And I know a few people actually got their dividends from Shell on that date as well. So if you were one of them, leave my comment below and let me know. And the other dividend we received this past week was from Legal in General. So that was on the Friday, the 25th of September. And that was a dividend there of £7.15. Don't know if you're out there currently watching this, if you received a dividend from them as well. But again, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know. So that brings the total dividends received so far this year up to £60.29. So yeah, pretty chuffed with that. Again, I'm not purely a dividend investor, so it's always nice to see this income slowly start to build up. If you're interested in signing up to Trading212, if you do so through this link you're seeing on the screen here, I'll put this in the description below this video. I'll also pin this as a top comment on this video so it's easier for you guys to find. So yeah, you just need to click on that link, create yourself an account with Trading212. I think you have to deposit something like the minimum of £1, and then once you've done that, you'll receive a free share worth up to £100, and so will I. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you do end up doing that and let me know what free share you receive because I'd be extremely interested to hear it. And that's it for this week, guys. Thanks again for watching. 